Michael had a great point about that, that intellectuals will oftentimes compartmentalize and ignore evidence. In, in like we're talking about brilliant people that we rely on to be the voice of reason or the voice of, of, uh, of intelligence and fact when it comes to certain particular arguments that they'll, they'll align with only the facts that support their case or support their position. And if it doesn't support their position, they'll conveniently ignore it. <laughs> like that kind of talk is so wild. Like, oh, yeah. so are you do you, are you out there with cameras in every fucking acre of that yeah. land? Shut up. You don't know. Like, yeah, you should really take the word of the people that find these things out there sure. because those people are actually there. Right. Like, how deep do the biologists go? I mean, how often are they there? How many boots on the ground wildlife surveyors do you have that are right. telling you exactly what, you know, how many bears there are? Yeah, yeah. How could you know? Yeah, who knows? And I, so cocky. I would like Bigfoot to exist. I've met people who swear they've seen Bigfoot. And I think the interesting thing is every single continent, there is an equivalent of Bigfoot or Sasquatch. There's the Yeti, there's the Yari in Australia, there's the Chinese wild man, and, and on and on and on. You know, I've had stories from people who, you have to believe them. So there's something, I don't know what it is. I'm always open-minded.